Welcome back to the channel. He was dubbed the wickedest man in the world. Aleister Crowley's journey into the depths of the occult led to the creation of one of the most enigmatic tarot decks ever conceived. But how did a man surrounded by scandal and mystique collaborate with an aspiring artist to create a masterpiece? Join us as we unravel the story behind the Thoth Tarot Deck. The Thoth Tarot Deck emerges as a monumental achievement in the realm of esoteric tarot, blending intricate artistry with profound symbolic depth. Conceived by controversial occultist Aleister Crowley and vividly brought to life by the avant-garde artistry of Lady Frida Harris, this deck transcends traditional tarot through its integration of astrological, Egyptian, and Kabbalistic symbolism. The Thoth Tarot deck is a testament to the power of collaboration between two visionary minds, but not one without controversy that escalated into a legal battle. The early 20th century was characterized by dramatic contrasts. Unparalleled technological advancements stood against the backdrop of social upheaval and global conflict. This era saw a surge in the exploration of spirituality and mysticism, disenchanted with conventional religious systems and driven by the period's pioneering spirit. Many started to pursue alternative routes towards spiritual awakening. Aleister Crowley was one who took that path. Aleister Crowley's life was a tapestry of scandal, genius, and spiritual exploration. Born into a wealthy British family, he quickly diverged from the conservative path expected of him. Renouncing his Christian upbringing, Crowley ventured into the esoteric world, joining the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn, a group devoted to the study and application of occult principles. His relentless pursuit of knowledge and spiritual enlightenment led him to establish Thelema, which he claimed was revealed to him during a mystical experience on his honeymoon in Egypt in 1904. Thelema's core principle of do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law was revolutionary and controversial. It boldly reflected Crowley's radical departure from mainstream religious conventions. He left an indelible mark on the countercultural movements of the 20th century, cementing his legacy as a provocateur and spiritual innovator. His extensive travels, experimental lifestyle, an unapologetic embrace of taboo subjects earned him the notoriety and the title of the wickedest man in the world. Crowley was in pursuit of an artist to illustrate tarot cards for his latest project, The Book of Thoth, short essay on the tarot of the Egyptians. The Book of Thoth showcased his knowledge of the esoteric tarot and endures as one of the most definitive volumes on the tarot. Crowley poured his knowledge into the Book of Thoth, which would be his last major work. The Thoth Tarot ranks among the world's top-selling tarot decks, standing out as one of the most unique interpretations of tarot available. Crowley described the Book of Thoth as an encyclopedia of all serious occult philosophy. It is a standard book of reference, which will determine the entire course of mystical and magical thought for the next 2,000 years. Even though Crowley had considerable artistic talent, his intention was for the cards to serve as instruments of meditation, with the artwork specifically designed to facilitate this. Imagine stepping out of the shadows of high society to team up with one of the most mysterious figures of your time. That's exactly what Lady Frida Harris did. Born into a world of privilege, Harris wasn't content with just attending fancy parties and following the rules set by her aristocratic upbringing. Her thirst for knowledge became insatiable, exploring topics such as art, mysticism, and unconventional belief systems. With her husband's encouragement, Harris developed her artistic abilities and showcased her paintings in public exhibitions. Harris learned projective geometry from followers of Rudolf Steiner, 
applying its principle to her art to produce paintings with unique patterns of distinctive arcs and swirls with the illusion of infinite space. She wielded her paintbrush like a wand, exploring the magical and mystical through her art. She was connected to the Freemasons. Her life took an exciting turn when she met Aleister Crowley, a man as notorious for his occult practices as he was fascinating. Together, they created a masterpiece that was both a work of art and a magical tool, proving that true creativity knows no bounds and that sometimes the most extraordinary journey begins with a single daring step into the unknown. Harris's journey from high society to high magic shows us that the real adventure begins when you dare to follow your passion, no matter how unconventional. Aleister Crowley met Lady Frida Harris in 1937 at the Royal Automobile Club at a dinner organized by a mutual friend. The historic encounter was the catalyst for a groundbreaking partnership. Harris, intrigued and baffled by Crowley's mystical teachings, confessed her confusion yet admiration for his work, sparking an intellectual and spiritual mentorship. Within months, she was not only translating Crowley's magical visions into art, but also immersing herself in his writings to grasp the secret language of the occult. Crowley, impressed by her zeal and potential, recognized Harris as a dedicated pupil on the mystical path. Alongside her tarot painting work, Harris engaged in a comprehensive study of magic under Crowley's guidance. To prepare her, he imparted knowledge in various disciplines including astrology, mysticism, yoga, and philema. At the heart of their collaboration, Lady Frida Harris embraced innovative artistic techniques to visualize Aleister Crowley's complex esoteric concepts. The interplay between Crowley's esoteric symbols and Harris's visual interpretations resulted in a tarot deck that is a piece of evolutionary art. Following Crowley's vision, sketches and guidelines, Lady Harris painted some of the cards eight times to get them right. She emphasized the deck's magical aspects and applied her knowledge of projective geometry to the designs. They found a balance working toward their mutual goal in spite of many challenges. Lady Harris showcased the tarot painting several times, aiming to draw in sponsors. She hid her collaboration with Aleister Crowley due to his contentious fame and to protect her husband's political reputation. Despite efforts to keep their involvement secret, Crowley and Harris's collaboration became widely known. Lady Frida arranged for an exhibition of her paintings of the Thoth tarot cards without Crowley's prior agreement. He contemplated legal action to affirm his contribution to the Book of Thoth and clarify that he commissioned Harris to do the artwork. But Harris insisted that it was she who had engaged Crowley. I can't do anything until I've established my claim as authorship, designer and painter of the cards. As he now says, I did them to his design. Heaven help me, and talks as if I had been commissioned by him, when the truth is the reverse. They resolved their dispute face to face, with Crowley later endorsing the exhibition. Despite initial tensions, they formalized a legal agreement and slowly mended their relationship. In 1944, the Book of Thoth was published, funded by a student of Crowley's. This exclusive edition was limited to 200 numbered and signed copies, featuring only eight color plates of Harris's tarot card illustrations. The publication did not feature the entire deck, as full color reproduction was too costly. Lady Harris's quest to publish a second edition of the Book of Thoth and the Thoth tarot deck never materialized in her lifetime as she was firm against producing the cards in black and white. It wasn't until 1969, seven years after her passing, that a colored deck was finally printed. It would take until 1977 for it to receive a printing of professional quality. Sadly, both Crowley and Harris passed away without witnessing the fruition of their work in print. 
Their bond lasted until Crowley's passing in 1947. Harris was named co-executor of his will. She hosted a wake in his honor at her home in London. Within the vast landscape of Tarot, the Thoth Tarot stands out as a masterpiece of artistic and spiritual synthesis. Alistair Crowley's deep occult knowledge fused with Lady Frida Harris's innovative artistic expressions created a deck that transcends mere divination. The success of the Thoth Tarot underscores the importance of collaboration, where the combined strengths and perspectives of its creators could forge something truly transformative and inspires you to discover deeper contexts of its wisdom in your own journeys. If you found this video informative, be sure to like and subscribe for more explorations into history, spirituality, and the mysteries that continue to captivate our curiosity. Until next time, keep exploring, and may your journey be filled with enlightenment and divine guidance.